Big one at Fifth Third Arena on Tuesday night as UC hosts top-ranked UConn. The Huskies come in riding an historic win streak. Joined now by head coach Jamel Elliott. And uh, no way to get around this one. Uh, you guys are taking on uh, the best and uh, a great chance, a great opportunity for your team to come up with a big win. And that's what it is. It's an opportunity to see this year's team and have a measuring stick of the epitome of women's basketball and how they play, the results that they get. So, you know, it's not a lot of people that can be in this position. You know, we're grateful and honored for the opportunity to play such a, a story program and to see where we are and see where we want to be. And it certainly will give you the opportunity here on Tuesday night. You know, looking at your team here, preparing for this one, we saw preparing against USF last week. I know as a coach you want to, to preach, you approach every game the same way, but it seems like there's just a little extra spring in the step, a little uh, extra competitiveness in this team. They want to get out there and they want to show what they can do. Well, you know, we've had a tough stretch. You know, we played the top, you know, four teams in the conference um, in a row, and, you know, we, we, we've we played some really good basketball. We haven't been able to close some games out. So we got one more game to have the opportunity to play 40 minutes. Like, I don't know what the result's going to be. I don't know what the, the score's going to be. But I'm looking forward to seeing my team be better tomorrow. And um, I think they want to be better, you know, Again, I'm excited about the opportunity to play against these guys. And, um, you know, at the end of the game, we're going to look at the film. We're going to see some things we did well, I think. We're going to see some things we want to continue to improve on. But guess what? That's consistent with every game we play. We're not going to look at UConn any different. So, you know, we're going in with the mindset, you know, we want to have confidence because we're prepared. And um, we want to go into the game. We want to show up. Um, and I, I think we're going to do that. You know, the, the, the results, you know, that's the furthest thing from my mind. I'm looking forward to seeing five guys on the floor and on the same page on defense, whatever it is, executing our offense, playing our game, and ultimately finding a way to get better tomorrow against the number one team in the country. I think getting better has been the story of your team this year. We've seen this team grow and mature and continue to improve game after game. Taking a look at this uh, game from a scouting perspective, I know we could probably spend all day on trying to scout out uh, UConn, yeah. but uh, you know, obviously they uh, they lost a lot last year, but uh, reload as they always do, and uh, always a lot of talent on the team. You know, you got to give him a lot of credit. You know, he took a lot of you know media responses as far as this is going to be the year where he went loses double figure games and he's found a way he always does and um so you never know you know no matter who they play they want to win they play a certain time type of basketball no matter who their opponent is whether they play in a top 10 team or you know they play somebody in the top 50 or top 100 they play the same type of basketball that's something that i admire that's something i want my players to see because we want to play the same type of basketball no matter who we play and we want to get the same results as they have no matter who we play so we're all going to learn something tomorrow you know i'm going to learn something as a coach my team is going to learn and but at the end of the day ultimately our goal is to get better Absolutely. No, you know, we'd be remiss not to mention uh, your history, obviously, with the, the UConn program as a player sure. and as a coach. And uh, your time with Coach I am I'm sure this is obviously a special opportunity for you whenever you get a chance to compete against him. It's always good to be around people you trust, you know, people that know you, people that you know, people that believe in you um, and, you know, always have, always will. So, you know, we're going to spend some time together, but, you know, we're two competitors, you know, two o'clock, I mean, seven o'clock uh, tomorrow night, you know, for the two hours, we're going to be trying to coach our team the best way we can. So, and then and after that, we'll be back to being good and, and, and personal friends. And uh, I look forward to playing against them. Like I said, I'm excited. Um, and I look forward to it. Certainly a great opportunity. And finally, uh, this will be the uh, the pink uh, uniform game for your team. And uh, it's a, a good cause, a great chance to partner with UC Health. And I know it means a lot to a lot of people. You know, there's not a single person that we in contact with or that we know that hasn't been touched or affected by, you know, the disease called cancer. And, um, you know, we want to play our role in bringing awareness to it um, in our game tomorrow by wearing pink and, you know, just, you know, hoping and praying every day um, for a cure for that, you know, dreadful disease. Certainly is a great cause. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you back out here tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's head Coach Jamel Elliott as the Bearcats set to take on top-ranked UConn Tuesday night at Fifth Third Arena, 7 o'clock tip-off.